Good morning, my friends. It is one week before one of my favorite Sundays of the entire year, the Super Bowl. I love football. I think it is so fun to watch. My family likes to watch it together. It's a way that we show that we love each other. We'll text one another and ask each other how the Dallas Cowboys are doing. They are not still playing. They got kicked out of the entire bracket, and I don't think uh, they'll be going to the Super Bowl anytime soon. I hope so. But what I love about continuing to watch, even though my team might not be able to play anymore, is that any time that someone gets a touchdown, they do kind of like an excited dance. They have a victory dance. And I don't know what your victory dance is, but some of my favorite ones uh, are when my team gets a touchdown, one of my players looks like he's eating a bowl of cereal. Like, oh, I gotta eat him up. And sometimes we think about Tim Tebow. He used to do a big one knee and put his hand up because he was thinking about God. But that still happens today. One of my favorite players, all they do is they smile and they go like this. They point their finger up there and they celebrate that way because joy comes from God. God didn't run that person down the field and help them win the football game. God doesn't decide who gets money and who doesn't get money. God doesn't decide who wins and who loses. But any time that we have a big success in life, it's really rare that we get there on our own. Any artist and musician has a mentor and teachers that started them from making terrible sounds on the flute to really honing their skills. They had friends that supported them. They had family that loved them and helped them believe in their dreams. We hardly get anywhere alone. And that's because God's love comes to us through all those different channels. So when something good happens, one of the ways that we celebrate that joy, we praise God. We say, thank you, God. We, we do whatever our victory dance is, whatever our victory prayer is, and we lift up our finger to really point to where all that good joy comes from, all that success, all that network of people that cared about us. It all comes from God. And that's why we praise. That's why we come to worship together when we can is because God has really done so much for us. All those little things and all those little successes, God, God helped us get there. And even when stuff doesn't go our way, God is present there too. And that's sometimes the moment when we're really able to turn it around and do something amazing because we've been able to be resilient, which is when you get really down about something and it's like your heart gets so low and so sad that it falls and it jumps back up because there is this resilience trampoline that brings it back up and helps us keep going because God won't let us sit in the midst of feeling like we can't do it. God won't let us sit in the places where we feel like we aren't worthy of love or joy or success. God won't let us do it because God loves us. So I don't know where you are. You might have just had a big success and you might be wagging your finger up at God and saying, oh my gosh, all of that was so you. All of that love that I got that made this possible is so you. And you might be a person that your heart is having to fall on that trampoline to be brought back up by God. But in the midst of all of it, God loves us and God is working through all these things to bring us joy. Thanks be to God.